Hey guys, how you doing? We are back. I was away for a while, but uh, I'm back home, ready to play some more games, and we're gonna try out an old favorite of mine. This is gonna be the uh, remastered version on PC, rather than the Nintendo 64 one, because that one's a real pain in the ass to play. This is, of course, the first Turok game. So I already know how to play it. It looks nice. Hopefully it plays really nice. The only sucky thing is, oh my, is now we are playing uh, all over again, which means we're going to have to redo the very first, or the uh, third level, which is one of my least favorite levels of any game ever. Just because of the end ending section of it. Good news is, is this plays really well. So we're gonna run back here, grab our first uh, weapon, the pistol. We already start with the the tech bow, or just the regular bow and a, and knife, but we uh, want the pistol anyway. And then we're going to pick up our first key. And we'll unlock our first area. Now we don't have... We don't have any reloading. And all shooting is... All shooting is automatic. So there's a lot of auto-aim in the game. So I don't have to aim all too much. Okay, I have to aim just a little bit. He got shot really far. He doesn't have anything for me, though, because he's a jerk. Okay. Got a grenade for the grenade launcher, but no ammo for the pistol. Alright, fuck that up. There's a guy running around. Oop. Where you go? Oh, hey! So this is... Okay. There we go. Just barely got him. keep jumping a little too early. There's a, like a small delay after the jump sometimes. All right. Let's grab our second key. It's another level two key. And then we're gonna come back over here and get blocked by some randomness. We do have to make some aiming. There's just a teeny tiny bit of aiming we have to do. I'm wondering what it was just before that blocked me when I was trying to jump from here. There we go. So now we're full up on... Oh, no, we're not full up on ammo yet. Uh, okay, I think 100 is our base for uh, pistol ammo. Later on, we'll get more. So what's to... M which one is... Let's check our input real quick. None of that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so we can kind of walk, but not quite. So in the first game, you had the ability to uh, walk. Gameplay. Let's see here. I 
I might as well put that on. I'll put it on hard. Why not? Let's have some fun with it. And he came at me pretty quickly. Okay, so that's what hard does. It just makes him makes them faster out. We'll stick back with that. There we go. A little sniping action there. And there's our first bonus portal. And it's good timing on it's funny timing on that because the shotgun we get we're already gonna get uh, we're already gonna get the shotgun just uh, up that uh, path but because we'd come to this one so early thought I could snipe him from back here but I was wrong Wash muffins. And we want to come back this way for the bath pack, backpack, bath pack, backpack, because that's going to double our ammo capacity, which we definitely need. So now we should be able to hold 200 bullets. Whoop, hey now. Oh, and that just sends us right back to the start. It's no real major uh, downside to falling in. Now, depending on how you fall and how like, how far you fall, uh, will actually cause you to stumble just a bit, and you'll notice that because like my forward motion kind of jarringly halts, and you have to watch out for that because you'll make a you'll make that mistake where you're 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 jumping around, you're you got kind of a groove going, and then uh, you just jump awkwardly. And by the time you land, like, you're still trying to move forward. So you jump again, thinking that you still got that momentum, and it just throws everything off. So we're going to pick up all of the clips. What's up, Alessa? Alessa's happy that I'm home. So she's getting all of the pets whenever she asks. Because she missed me. Right? You missed me? Good girl. So we're going to run back up here, because uh, here is where we're going to get more shotgun shells. Are we full up? We're full up, so we don't really need to, because there's the shotgun there. That's where you're supposed to get it normally if the bonus portal hasn't shown up yet. I think it turned off auto-aim. Which is fine with me, because I don't really like, like auto-aim in games. I think I'm smart enough to know uh, how how to aim. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's auto aiming at all, so we do actually have to aim properly on, on this. And oh, there's our shotgun shells. They like to store uh, ammo and stuff. Whoa. All right. Killing each other. That's good stuff. And your first ever jumping puzzle. Ah, I can never get it on the exact first track. I always, I'm always moving too quickly. <laughs> like that. Oh, that one you'll overshoot, so you got to, like, jump earlier. If you, if you want to keep moving quickly, which I do. But if you do it the, the way I'm doing it, you're going to fail, like, a lot. Oh, shit. That jump sucks because it's just far enough that you need to, uh, you need to kind of Donkey Kong jump it. We'll just grab him for two health. There we go. I did a little strafe jump there. 
Because you need to sit strafe jump later on in the game. I think in the third level, actually. Alright, well, we missed a bunch of uh, Triforces. You gotta be careful of the Perlins, because their death animation can also do damage. There we go. Let's fill up our ammo. Tons of clips waiting for us. You can't kill the monkeys. I don't know why they made that design choice, but you cannot kill the monkeys. We don't want to fall down there. Oh, hey, bonus. Ah, we missed the bonus portal. Which one are you? I guess the portal's not going to show up again. All right. I was wrong. All right, so this one's solely about getting uh, these Triforces. And you get some health to go along with it. Position myself pretty terribly on that one. I suppose it's good I don't have a uh, the option to walk and run because I can modulate just how quickly I run more efficiently with Wasid than I was with the uh, 64 controller. Not that that's really all that surprising. So the Nintendo 64 controller was absolute trash. We'll hit our first save point. I was playing it. Apparently it saved all my uh, regular save. That's pretty cool. Whoop. Oh, that's right, because it's all on... Uh, all on the Steam servers. Oop. The nice thing about this is it's part of the era of first-person shooters that were fast-paced, but they were done in a way that, like, you could play them that way. If that makes any sense. Like, some games, they're supposed to be fast-paced, but you can't really pull off. Like, you can't run around enemies. And... I did not mean to do that, but I will take it. I don't like that it doesn't have the uh, messing with bodies. Oh, hey. Because in the original one, you could just keep, like making them bleed and stuff. It was pointless, but it was funny. Did I do this section? Yeah, we did this. Okay. Alright, that's where we uh, approached from the... Uh... The map is also minimalistic, so it's really hard sometimes to make out what you're doing. But after a while, you learn to read it properly. So light blue is water. Uh, light green is the uh, you're on that level and it's land. Hey, there we go. We did this one already, so we can just leave it. We're not going to really need the map all that much for the first area or so. 
It's, I think once level three kicks in, that's when the map becomes crucial. I'll just fall here. That's fine. It looks deeper than it actually is. That's what's tricking me. Is this going to be the same one? All right, so I think this area only has those two. So let's run back up here. So it's two shots to kill them. And then it's a quick hop up and over. Oh, we're at, we're at full health. 250 health is our max. So we found another level 2 key. That's all the level 2 keys, I believe. Um, keys. Check it. All level 2. So now there's level 3 keys left in this level. I want to make sure we get those. And it's okay to fall down there. Uh, there are... There are bottomless... Oh, hey. There are bottomless pits. You gotta watch out for those. And level six is pretty much entirely bottomless pits because it takes place on the in the uh, treetops. Definitely don't like the leapers. These enemies are awful. They're easier to handle once you get the assault rifle. So it looks like we're full. Whoop. We are full up on regular shotgun ammo, so we can't pick up any more. I don't want to waste my, uh, I really don't want to waste my explosive rounds on these guys, but this one's kind of a tough guy. There we are. Yeah, so we cleared this area, so we're going to grab all of these. Leads us back to the jungle. We have our regular shotgun shells. If you do it right, you could technically just strafe these these guys. And there's something I always neglect to grab while I'm up here, which makes life a little bit easier. So what that did was is that slowed down time and made me invincible. And I usually would forget about about it. But grabbing that kind of helps you clear this section out. The, the problem is, is they position it so oddly. So you're just kind of like, you're just a little bit out of the way. So our next jumping puzzle. This one's not as obnoxious as the first. Pretty low, so we're gonna for beetles. The proper way is to use knife. Otherwise, if you're wasting ammo. Ow! Oh! And then there's that jackass. I think that's the way to... There's either a, a, a portal... Yeah, there's the portal, so we want to go down here. 
there's more. There's a bunch of stuff that we're trying to find in this game. First is the keys to unlock the levels. The second, uh, that's just a health pickup of where we're pretty much, that's, uh, that only brings us to, uh, 100 health. The last thing we're looking for are the pieces of the Chrono Scepter, which is the weapon that we use to fight the final boss of the game, the Campaigner. So it takes two to three uh, knife slashes. There's our first level three key. To kill these assholes. Not dealing with that. Okay, so that worked out in my favor, but normally... There we go, assault rifle. That's the shit. Now we can deal with these idiots. Um, I don't really like that. Uh, that is a really bad reflection. It's not even on top of the water. That's not how reflections work. But anyway, um, now that we have the assault rifle, we could deal with leapers a lot better. We can't use any other weapons underwater. Now, assault rifle just is a pistol, but it, it uh, fires in a three burst. Okay, so this is where we're gonna find our first Chrono Scepter piece. Now, this is basically just a giant circle. Oops. This area is filled with these dudes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear each ring individually. So for this ring, we're not gonna go out. We're gonna just keep running through. Now, I'm not getting anything for killing enemies other than just getting them out of my way. Some dudes nearby, I can hear their stupid footsteps. And there it is. Ow. Now, I think knife is a one-hit kill on all soldiers. Now, let's just run back this way. Because I think we came through that ring. So, yep, that's the good thing. So now we get some uh, shotgun shells. Explosive shells. So there's a couple paths we should we need to go through. One's going to lead to the exit, and the other's going to lead to... Okay, so there's the key. There's our, thir our second level key. Mortal Wound, I think, is a damage increaser. Now, at the end of this section is the portal out of here. If I find that, then we're gonna... We're gonna have to run back. Yep, yeah, okay, so that's the exit. So we're gonna have to run back because we didn't pick up the Chronoceptor piece. Some nice jungle music. I wonder if there's an option to turn that back on. Oh, okay, that just adds, like... Why would you put, like, any of that? All right, never mind. I was kind of hoping we could add the uh, ability to just keep fucking with dead bodies, but... Uh... Okay, yeah, so knife is pretty much a one-hit kill. The problem is this, uh, you don't want to use it on weapon enemies with guns. That dude's got a gun. The reason is because they're just going to get shots off on you. So there it is. That's the first Chrono Scepter piece. There's one in every level. The thing, the hardest one I can remember is the third. Just because you have to take a really difficult jumping path. So that was the checkpoint. So we're just going to run back this way. And I believe it's this ring that leads us back. So we go up this way. Oh, it's itchy. Oh, shit. 
It's very easy to lose your way in this level. Or this part of the level, anyway. I think right here. There we go. Yeah, this is the right way. Okay, yep, he's got a gun. Whoop. So I, I lucked out he is RNG didn't make him fire at me. Uh, multiple times. I don't know if they have like a cooldown on that, but it's definitely not worth risking when you can avoid it. Go. Tech arrows are good. We got mortal wound. I think it's a health boost. Ow. Ooh. There's a bunch of guys up top. And it takes about one to two hits to kill these dudes. But there are enemies in... Oh. There are going to be enemies in the third level that are much more obnoxious. They take about three. And that's when we start using the assault rifle a hell of a lot more. Hey! Gruffin, how you doing? Okay. Oh, God. Of course you finished eating. And Funke's here. How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it, you guys. I hear a bonus portal. Ah! Fell. There it is. Let's try to make it in there. Oh, ooh. Ah, oh, it disappeared. Yeah, normally you could just like keep splashing at them and there's just like a little little blood squirt and Um Eh, what the hell make it a two part stream. Do a little little of this. Do this to about eight and then we'll throw in some uh, clandestine. Hey it's back. Let's go. Come on. Don't you go away now, you dumb portal. All right, we've been here. Never mind. Already did that portal. More like human hunter. So everybody is kaputski. Check out that skybox, baby. Now we gotta go down here. We're gonna find some more beetles. So we're gonna switch over to knife again. I've, I remember enough of this to. Wow, that draw distance is fucking weird. They need to fix that. That's not correct at all. You should be able to see the bottom at the very least. Yeah, there's a couple things they definitely need to fix in this. Love the stretched textures that they chose for those. And that wasn't the Night Dive, the guys who remade or remastered this. That was all a uh, acclaim. Who are no longer in this. But this part right here is definitely a rendering problem from the remaster. So why am I collecting these triangles, you ask? That is a very good question. Every 100 triangles we find, we've got all the keys for levels 2 and 3, so we're done with this level. And we also got the chronoscopy keys. So now we're going to shoot on out of here. There's a pearl in waiting for us. Luckily. He is dead. And we've made it out of level... Level 1, technically... And into level two. Well, actually, this is the hub. All right, the triangles. Uh, so every every hundred triangles you get is a level is an extra life. So this game is built on lives. 
but you really don't want to lose any lives because then you lose your backpack, which means you lose your uh, advantage of having, you know, twice the uh, capacity for storing ammo. Okay, so let's see. We've blazed that in about 40 minutes. That's pretty good. How long has it been running? Let me see here. Sorry about that. I had to bring that up. About half an hour to do level one. That's not too bad. So let's see here. That's level four. Level two. Seven. I don't know why they spaced them out like this. So there's level two and level three. Level three sucks, so we're not doing level three yet. We're going to run over to level two. The jungle. Because, you know, we weren't in the jungle already. Now, Turok uh, manages to pull a nice little trick in a later level where normally you're used to just leaving the portal and then running off in that direction. But actually, in one level, you want to go behind the portal and then you're going to go down a waterfall and you're going to go into a back area because that's where I think either the Chrono Scepter piece is or a key. Pretty sure it was Chrono Scepter. So this is another neat thing that they did in this game. Do a lot of really cool uh, triggers like that in the game, where to activate like secret areas or uh, different stuff you want to. Whoa! Thought that plus two was actually a uh, another warthog. So you can actually take out. Raptors with one tech arrow or two. Whoa, hey, now. Who is that? One tech arrow or two blasts from the explosive shells. Alright, let's keep moving. So bullets kind of have a bit of a drop, which is very weird. There we go. Timrod! Hey, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Damn you, son of a bitch. I am Turok! Yeah, I think two is the best in the... Whoa, Whoa that was really close. Two is easily the best Turok game. Uh, what did I do that for? Okay, right, so we came up behind here. Two had two had one prop. Whoa, hey now. Two had one problem for me, and that was the objectives crap. I really could have done without any of that nonsense. So that's where we're gonna drop down to. Also, the kids in level one were insufferable, and I hate them, and I wish they had never been put in the goddamn game. I'm gonna drop down here. Other than that, Turok 2 is superior to Turok 1 in every possible way. <laughs> absolute garbage filled with hallways. I liked some of the level designs. Uh, the River of Souls, level 2, was actually really, really cool. In my opinion. Now, oh, hey... Oh, that was really a lucky shot. I should not have pulled that one off. And we came here just in time for one of my favorite bonuses. Ah, oh, you missed it. So much noise. Hey, and there's Burger Gamer. How you doing, man? Nice stuff. I appreciate it. No, Turok 2 on the Game Boy Color was fucking garbage. All the Game Boy Turoks were fucking terrible. So that really all was just to come back here and do that. So we don't ever have to do that again. Um, I'm wondering if the render distance thing is going to mess up one of my favorite aspects of this. We shall see. We'll, we'll see in a moment, but, um, oh, 
Too far. Bah! Oh, wow, one killed him. Okay, never mind. Maybe it is just one for them. So there's, um... Because of the limitations of the Nintendo 64... All right, so it is... It is just that. Just one kill, shot for, for either of them. So anyway, there was some, because of the limitations of the Nintendo 64, much like Silent Hill and Silent Hill 2, a lot of the levels were shrouded in a fog because they, you know, they couldn't render stuff properly. So what they did was is they kind of took advantage of that and made these uh, secret areas that could only be uh, reached if you watched your map carefully. Because once you get into a... Oh, there's one spawning again. Once you get to a, a specific... There it is. All right, so this particular spot right here is actually uh, hidden just enough by the fog and just this top part here would have been visible through the fog to kind of let you know, hey, you should probably drop down here. Uh, sometimes the map would autofill out just enough for you to see uh, that that area existed, and you would then take that kind of leap of faith down. And I loved that. I thought it was terrifying, and, you know... There you go. We are Turok. Turns out that Turok was the friends we met along the way. So, where are we heading now? We're heading back this way. But yeah, so one of the neat little features was them kind of taking advantage of the system's limitations and creating secret areas that had very vague hints. Uh, but they were, they were good in that, you know, they told you, hey, there's a thing here, but you had to be looking for it. The same with um, some areas that were like, instead of like the wood areas, the uh, the grassy areas like this, they would be only visible by the top of like a palm tree that was sticking up. So you kind of had to guess, hey, you know, the palm tree, it's probably not floating in air. And it was cool. It's a shame that that's kind of left out in this. I think they could have done something more with that. But, um, I mean, technically I could turn off draw distance, but other than, actually, I wonder if turning off draw distance, uh, where is my, so let's see. Yeah, no, that still looks fucking terrible. Actually, no, it looks slightly better. Let's... Let's see how... Uh... No, see, it's it's really... Re okay, so... You can't see any of the bottom. Even, like, right here where you would be able to. So there's a huge reflection problem. So let's see if we can't fix that real quick. There we go. Like, this, it's just for some reason the reflection's not very good. Alright, so now that we've done that. Right, yeah, so if you see this. So now you see that little fog. That was the original fog in the game, and you couldn't see past that. And I really liked it. But for the sake of this, we're going to turn it, turn it back on because it is easier to see. Now, before we go further in, is... There we are. And in a little bit, we are going to take a break from this, and uh, Cruffin and I are going to actually play some clandestine, so stick around for that right now. Let's enjoy this soothing underwater music. Alright, so we mapped out some of that area. So we're coming back out from where we came in. Whoop! Also, there are some areas that won't map at all. And they're very difficult to maneuver. Like that uh, concentric circle area that I was in. That circle maze. That one does not have a map. So you just kind of have to guess your way through it. Or if you did what I did and you, you can recognize the... Uh, Okay, this is new. Oh, no, it's not. It's just this part connects to this. And I don't think there's a, a 
breath meter in this one. There is definitely one in Turok 2. And it's a little forgiving. Give me my Turok triangles. So I can swim faster by tapping W. Yeah, you don't run out of breath in Turok 1. Oh, never mind. I'm fucking wrong. I am super wrong. Fly, Turok. Fly. That is not... The way out. Oh, God. We're going to take damage. Nice thing is it's only like one health point tick per second. So, yeah, I was super wrong about that. I could have sworn it was only two that had it. I know two definitely had it. But uh, this one clearly has it because I just encountered it, so. Okay. It's just beetles. And there is our first key from the level. And that is our first level four key. So we only have two keys left to find. Yeah, this game didn't have some of the best UI. I gotta say, this is like a million times more fun to play not on a Nintendo 64 controller. So we don't need that. Uh, blue crosses are, I think, 10 health points, but only are uh, obtainable if you're under 100 health. And we're full up on. There we go. And there we go. Ah! So, uh... So that bonus area has been beaten, and that brings us back up to the top. Some uh, plus twos down there. Let's top tap uh, uh, top off our health. Hey, hey! I just okay. Thank you for the follow. It looked like Shakuku. I couldn't see it because I didn't put up my thing. But thank you for the follow! Um, I'm going to blame Cruffin for this. Boom! Get out of here. I keep forgetting that 2 is not the pistol. It is the... Uh, it is the bow. So I'm trying not to use up all of my ammo for each one. Hey, what was that? I saw something, like, run past. Or am I just losing my mind? Losing my mind. Oh, Perlin. Okay, uh, let's go Tecbo. Nailed it. There's a dude. Nope, they're spawning behind me. Run, run, run. And I say that as I... So this game also has the best uh, gravity physics in a game ever. Uh. So there's like a weird invisible wall there, and I don't know why. It's really hard to kill that dude. Like, he's just standing out in the open. Look at that. It's... You could see the little flash poffs in front of him. And that's, like... See that flash poff right there? That's what's happening. See, I don't know why, so I have to get closer. Maybe we can get up this. Yeah, we can. See, now we could fucking shoot him.
No, there's like there's an invisible wall right here. Like literally, there's. Okay, there's another assault rifle. We'll grab that. So we're not coming back this way. Yeah, this game has some very weird problems. Like, uh, like you could see, it's not the max range because I could shoot past that tree there, but if I shoot there, it just kind of it counts as an invisible wall until we get close enough, and then it's it disappears. Shit. So there's our first death. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna save scum this game. We'll find another backpack. But now we don't have, uh, we don't have, we can only have a max of 100 uh, regular bullets. And that's that sucks too, because that was like a really stupid death. That was completely avoidable. It also takes us way back the fuck to the checkpoint here. Uh, okay, so at least we still have these plus two health. Also, we lose that maximum amount of health that we had picked up before. Which super sucks. I thought I saw something up there. I don't think there is a way to get up there, is there? There is not. There's also, like, random uh, bits of geometry that you think you should be able to get up on, and you cannot. Which is really, really dumb, but it does that. Okay, so we gotta be careful. I don't wanna pull that shit again. And I think this is a... Yeah, that's a general. So these guys carry plasma guns. Whoa, there we go. And they take a lot more damage. It sucks too because we're right near a save point. Hey now. It's very rude. So for that, I'm gonna shoot you. I'm hoping we can come to one of the parts that shows off this game's terrible, terrible like uh, gravity. Like just the, I don't know if it's gravity, it's just like, um, what's the word for it? Oh my God, it's so weird. So like um, models will, will do this weird thing when running on hills and you're gonna get to see it. I don't wanna tell you ahead of time cause it's really fucking funny. You're going to love it when you see it. Alright, this is the Perlin spot. Okay, so two hits killed him. And there's another one here. Right, uh, like I said, if you, uh, if you kill a Perlin and he rolls into you, it does damage. So you got to watch out when you kill them. All right, maybe that portal will give us the bonus health. Yes! So this one's fucking tough. Yeah, wow, that sucked. Okay, so that wasn't even worth it because that just only was going to give us 100 health total. So that was a waste. Some dicks firing me. There he is. Uh, how are we on? Okay, we hey, get out of here. Check our map, no spots down. So there's a cave system. So let's head into the caves, as usually. I like being able to kill an enemy behind me by swinging in front of me. Shows you how pro a dinosaur hunter I am. Yeah, okay, so they're 25 health, but they can 
As long as you're like a point of health below 100, it will count and it will carry over. But once you hit 100, you can't pick up the uh, blue crosses anymore. So this is another uncharted area. So that's where we came from, so let's run back this way. And the thing I love the most about this game is just how quickly paced it is. So it looks like this was just to pick up an assault rifle and some bonus health. Yes, this is 100% Uncharted 2. Okay, let's get out of here. So that was just a quick aside to pick up some more health and uh, ammo and shit. Super not important. I wonder if this bonus portal has... Nope, it was gone. I wish it was Kingsville. No, Kingsville 5 already exists. That was on the PS2. Oh yeah, there's also something I should show you guys. I love this. That was not it. There we go. Oh! Um... Alright. But that's what you can do with the explosives, is as long as the body's still there, you can just kind of bounce it all over the place. It's really fun. Oh, shit. I used to like to turn on, uh... I would turn on uh, infinite ammo, and I would just, like, blow up bodies all over the place. Okay, that's a... That's a big dude. And now we're out of our good stuff. I actually can, if you do it right, you can just circle strafe uh, and knife the uh, these guys. Let's try that out. Oh, this too. Never mind. Hold on. Dick. Mega dick. Okay. Super easy. Alrighty. What do we got here? We've cleared this area. It looks like there's some more back this way. Get out of here. I don't get time for your shit. Ah! I don't get time for your shit either. Um, so we just gotta head up. Hey! Mongler. I don't know who's shooting me, but he better fucking stop. I too find climbing very orgasmic. Kind of surprise shoot him. There we go. Okay, so hit the switch. That knocks this down. This is a secret area. And that gives us spiritual invincibility. So now we can't take damage. The world is slower. Pretty sure this is. Yep, yeah, this is it. Chrono Scepter. Boom! So that's Chrono Scepter piece number two. And that is a full life. So if we were low on health, we could grab that go to 100 imme immediately. But we don't need it, so we're getting out of here. It's weird how much of this I remember. I think my memory is clear up till level five because level five is a complete pain in the ass maze the chrono scepter is the ultimate weapon in this game that you need and you basically need for the final fight with the main main antagonist the uh campaigner 
Uh, the campaigner is basically trying to merge the Lost Land with the regular world. The Lost Land's kind of like this parallel world. Um, okay, where do I need to go here? This is not the way I was supposed to go. This is not the way we're technically supposed to go, I think. Uh, oh, right. There's the, uh... That was the checkpoint. Okay. So here we go. Oh, don't want to go that way. We're good here. We've done that. Take his ass out. Now, he's following us. He really wants some. It's kind of the same as Mortal Kombat. Uh, the Lost Land's like this parallel world, and the Turok... Turoks are part of the, uh, I think the Fire Seed Clan. Alright, we've cleared this area. And they use the Light Burden, which is like a satchel that gives them the power to be the Turok. And they basically look over the Lost Land. And so the campaigner is trying to take the Lost Land and combine it with our regular world. And so we're here to... Ow. Make that stop. Apparently, you can get hurt by falling trees. I did not know this. Once we hit our next save point. Also, the Mortal Kombat, the game, had that plot. The movie just kind of took the game's plot, but I am being pedantic. Okay. Don't disappear. Good. Never mind. Fuck you. Ah! Alrighty. So we can only get back from there. We can't go that way from here. Silly bastard. All right, so this area was also, if I remember correctly, covered by the uh, covered by the fog. So we come down here, because this way is going to take us around the back to that key that we just saw. Out of here. Oh, okay. This has a this has a command console. Okie dokie. Deftly dodges these uh, beetles. Murder beetles. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be Leaper territory. Nope, all right, I was wrong. So here we gotta make this jump. Again, it was all like, uh, that is nothing. This is literally nothing but like a really badly rendered stalactite. And there it is. Uh, second level four key. Okay, this jump sucks. Made it. Okay, so that was actually a general that I killed with the knife, so I feel really awesome right now. So let's see. Oh, I'm losing some frames here. That's not good. I don't like this. I don't like seeing that. Hey! Yeah! Might just be the internet kind of being a little poopy. So we just have one key left to go. Oh, there's, there's our save point, and there's a uh, total jackass. There we go. Killed him. All right, so w give us a moment. Don't go away, because uh, Cruffin and I are going to start trying out, for the first time, or at least on my side, uh, clandestine, so stick around. <laughs> 